welcome back to the Mizartastic. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, it's the Mizartastic YouTube channel. I am Kathleen McGivern, and I'm Mizartastic. And right now, um, you're either listening to this on YouTube or on uh, your favorite podcast player, my lovely friend. So, um, we are going to be diving into three amazing watercolor art activities that you can do with your kids or families, which is a lot different than if you were experimenting as a teacher in a classroom. These are specifically designed for your own kids or family. And stay tuned, stay listening, because my friend, I'm going to be also telling you how to get a free printable watercolor technique template that you can print again fully free so stay tuned stay listening and i'll let you know how to get it so let's dive into it all right so like i said we're going to be talking about three of the best um watercolor painting art activities for your kids and family and by family everyone should be joining in this is an opportunity for some quality family time you can create quality family time through creating art together no matter your own experience i am here to help um my website my online streaming art lesson platform artastic kids is an experience that our platform that you get to log into and i will show you how to make art so you can join in with your kids your kids can do it self-directed and you can create art and spend some quality family time together but let's dive into this episode because I'm talking about watercolor painting um, because it is one of the most, in my opinion, one of the most versatile and effective ways to get your kids and family painting and engaged in the art making process. It is so much fun. It always looks beautiful, whimsical, fantastic. We're going to dive in on three of the best watercolor painting art activities to start with your children. Resist painting, salt sea turtles, and outdoor plein air painting. So keep reading or listening because I have a free watercolor painting technique template available to download in the blog post. So if you're listening to this as a podcast, in the podcast description, there is a blog post show notes URL. If you click it, it will take you to my Ms. Artastic blog. And there it'll give you a direct link to the blog post. Oh, actually, no, we're on Artastic Kids, aren't we? <laughs> it's actually going to take you to Artastic Kids. Sorry, I got a lot going on. The link will take you directly to the blog post found and hosted on my website, my art streaming, art lesson platform website, the blog, um, Artastic Kids, artastickids.com. It will take you there and on that blog post, you're gonna scroll down till you see experimenting with watercolor resist painting technique. It's one of the first ideas, okay? Um, and under there, you're going to see an image for it and um, a link where you can click the link and it will give you um, take you to where you can download the free printable watercolor painting technique template. And then it's two pages. You can print them off for your families. It's not complicated. But it's going to give a beautiful official feel to experimenting with watercolor paints. There's also a, a video, a link to a YouTube video there um, that will take you to where I am actually demonstrating using that template and applying watercolor painting techniques to it. So for instance, in Artastic Kids, my online streaming art lesson platform, um, all the lessons I teach them and I take you through an easy, magical journey of creating art lessons where I teach a lesson with easy to use and easy to find low cost art mediums and I show you how to use them in tons of different ways and that will be the same with this video. I'm gonna be taking you um, through a journey of creating with one medium, but I'm gonna show you lots of different ways to use that same medium. So it doesn't matter what your own personal art experience is, we're all going to practice together and I will guide you and your children through creating. So you just have to hit play. And if I go too fast, you can always rewind, hit pause on me, all that jazz. Um, or if you have to take a break and go make dinner, no big deal. You hit that space bar or pause button and boom, I'm frozen. 
Just kidding. And um, I'm not frozen. But I would be frozen if you are playing on YouTube um, or if you are a member of the Artastic Kids online streaming art lesson platform at www.artastickids.com. Huge library of art resources there, by the way. Huge library of art lessons designed for families. So instead of going to an art studio, you can stream directly to your home for a low, low cost. Um, so exciting. And every single month I add five new art lessons to that library so it continues to grow and grow. Um, anyways, so we're going to dive in on to creating this and finding out what the best idea is. So if you're looking to start with some ideas um, or experimenting with watercolor paints at home, the first idea would be to just simply experiment with watercolor resist painting techniques. So that is the first one. So the first idea is to experiment with resist, ta resist painting techniques. And I love this so much because you can use wax crayons or oil pastels and then just paint right over top of those areas. Um, that have the wax crayon or the paint, the, sorry, the oil pastel or wax crayon, and then that will become resist painting. And the wax crayon and oil pastel resist paint, paint right? Because there's wax or there's oil based, and that medium just repels and resists the paint. So that is cool because first, this means that you can paint over lines without them bleeding. Like if you were to paint over your Crayola washable felt markers, they are washable which means they will bleed and it's really great for getting marker off of your table but not great if you want to have some crisp cool lines so that although makes beautiful lines initially if you paint over it disappears turns and it just becomes part of the paint really and turns into a big mess but if you use wax crayons which are also low cost or oil pastels they will get those nice crisp lines. You can color in some idea, um, some of the details, create line designs or patterns to create some texture and movement and all that other jazz. But then when you paint over top of them, it's not going to blend or bleed. Like it's not even going to move. Nothing will happen to it. It's just going to stay exactly the same and all the paint will move away from it. Um, so that's why we love using them. And then my friend, if you use white, wax crayon oil pastel you can't see the lines when you draw them but when you paint over top of them all the paint moves away and the kids are gonna be like what because you can create all those lines will just magically reappear so cool um especially if you're doing like letters or writing their names you can write their names in white oh i can't see it all of a sudden you paint over it and it magically appears beautiful for some halloween activities if you're doing um spider webs or ghosts right you can't see them but now you can <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, so that's an idea. And so what I'm saying is to experiment with those, draw choice based things, just getting used to the art making medium and then paint on top with your choice of colors and then watch that wax or oil pastel resist the paint. Super choice, low key, just magical fun. Just getting to enjoy the paint and create whatever they want to create. Okay, so next idea is a little bit more directed, is salt and watercolor sea turtles. So for the next artwork, together, draw out some sea turtles on paper using your wax crayons and then paint them with your favorite sea turtle colors. Oh yes. But here is a twist for this one. While the paint is still wet, sprinkle some salt onto that wet paper and let it dry with the salt on it. The salt is going to pull the paint towards the salt crystals. And then once it dries, rub it off. It has to be full dry paper. Rub off the salt to create, or sorry, to reveal a beautiful texture. And then try also, um, if you have the option, try with both fine and coarse salt for different results. Okay, so next is to do some outdoor plein air painting. So grab some clipboards, watercolor paper, or cardstock. Um, your watercolor paints, and I just love to use a jar. Um, I just wash my old salsa or pickle jars because the lids go back on so well, right? Whoosh, gone, on, there it is. It doesn't leak, um, and I just like to fill up with water and then head outdoors for um, some art, with your art making mediums, okay? And also take your kids. <laughs> That is the point of this. And this time you're going to find somewhere to sit either in your backyard, at a park, um, on your balcony or patio, anywhere outdoors 
Um, spend some time looking and once each of you see something that you like, get out your paints and paint it. Just pure observational drawing. You can choose a sketch with pencil first or dive right into observational drawing with paint instead. Plein air painting is the process of painting outdoors, so get out there and make some art. All right, so watercolor painting techniques to explore as a family. So this is some terminology um, and I will demo these in the YouTube video and then you can use these also on the watercolor painting, the free printable watercolor technique that you can download. Okay, so the first one is wet on wet painting, which means to water down the paper, then paint wet paint onto wet paper. This is an important technique for developing textures exclusive to watercolor paints and for creating and developing beautiful gradients that can be used for um, water, for a background, for whatever you want to. But you can get some really great techniques, right? You could paint uh, water on it, then you can dab with your brush and the color onto there and then you'll make these beautiful dots but the water is going to make the paint move about however it wants so you can really just sit there and play and make some beautifully whimsical illustrations that then you let dry and then add more layers on top oh yeah okay so next is to do wet on dry painting it sounds almost the same as the last one but it's not this means we paint and it's very different. Um, we paint wet paint onto dry paper. It seems obvious and this is what we normally would think about as painting, right? Um, but it ensures you get a really crisp line. Whereas wet on wet painting means you're, it's going to start moving on its own. You're not, it's going to have um, no distinct form and you cannot control it. Whereas wet on dry means that you get crisp lines and control over the medium. Um, just don't let your colors, two different colors touch together or they'll bleed together unless that's what you want. Next is to use a sponge. So you can, when you have wet on wet paint or wet paper and wet painted paper, I guess, take a sponge and you can even dab um, and then lift off paper, sorry, lift off paint to create texture or you can dab the sponge into paint and apply that way. Two different ways. Um, it's kind of like using a eraser if you lift off the mark. Or the paint it'll, it'll leave a mark right and that's the whole idea is to create texture to make it more visually interesting for the viewer all right next is to apply salt we talked about this with the salt sea turtles um, but you can apply again salt onto wet watercolor paint let it dry and you're gonna notice right away that the paint is drawn towards the salt crystals um, of course this creates texture as it dries and then rub it off to get reveal that beautiful texture created Experiment with thick and thin. So thick and thin lines, experiment with creating them. That is all about control with a brush. I go over this all the time in their Artastic Kids Art Lessons, but we can have one brush and it can make thicker marks by pressing firmly, right? Thicker marks. But if I barely touch the paper, it's gonna make, barely, barely touch, right? That'll make a much thinner line than if I were to press firmly. So you can practice experimenting with creating thick and thin lines, which can be used for so many different things. Um, you could do abstract works, but also it's controlling that brush. So you have one brush that you can really use for many purposes as you illustrate, create observational artworks, all the above. Next is to use bubble wrap, cling wrap, and foil to dab onto the watercolor paint on paper when it's still wet and then lift to create texture. Um, try using all different ones. They all create different things. Next is to use tissue paper so you can dab the wet watercolor painted paper with tissue paper, leftover ones. Don't go buy new paper, tissue paper for this. Like leftover, the stuff you're going to recycle that's like really overused, use that. <laughs> dab the, the paint and now it can go into the compost or recycling. Um, that creates a cool texture. Resist painting, we talked about that, using your wax crayons or oil pastels. Um, you draw first, paint on top, resist. And then finally is using rubbing alcohol or lemon juice or isopropyl, so isopropyl alcohol, I guess also is called that, or lemon juice. You can drip it onto your wet paper and that will create um, some cool techniques as well. So for the free printable watercolor painting technique template, make sure in the YouTube description of the video or in the podcast description, click the blog post 
blog post, show notes, and it's going to take you over to artastickids.com, my online streaming art lesson platform for kids and families. And there you will go directly to that blog post, scroll right down to the bottom where it says free printable watercolor painting technique template. And there, there will be a link that's going to show you how to download it instantaneously. So I'm Ms. Artastic. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments, tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons, check out Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime, anywhere. Artastic Kids is where kids can unleash their creativity, build essential skills, and have fun. So visit artastickids.com to learn more.